Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? How you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm sure you can see through my camera's wide angle lens what's going on here. Uh, since day one, there's been an issue with the original Xbox and the clock capacitor failing uh, over time. Now, the original Xbox is going on 20 years old, and uh, some of them have uh, been taken apart and looked at, and the clock capacitor has been uh, leaking, and it, and it uh, messes up the motherboard and all that, so... I'm going to try and take mine apart. I never thought in a million years that I would ever mess with my original Xbox. Day one, launch, first in line. Beautiful Xbox. But I want to make sure I preserve it for as long as I can. And I want to check it out and see uh, how that clock capacitor is doing. I've never taken this apart. However, before I turned the camera on, I turned it over and and uh, found all the screws on there so I can just kind of turn it over and get started and make sure that I had the correct Torx bit which appears to be a T20 a Torx T20 and there's a ton of videos on YouTube uh, with people doing this but I thought that I would I would do something just for my channel uh, I haven't done any, anything video game related in a while, and so I thought I'd do this. So let's do a little something, guys, shall we? I don't even like doing this. Well, surprisingly, not very dirty. Look how shiny it is. Wow. Look at that. Now, it is got some dust in there. But that's expected. Maybe I can pull this out without... There it goes. And I think that one right there is the capacitor I gotta pull.
basically all you got to do is pull that capacitor. You don't have to worry about nothing soldering anything or all right well I didn't have a paintbrush or any kind of anything no canned air but I walked next door my father-in-law had a paintbrush perfect size <coughs> so I'm trying to brush some of this stuff out Right there, there's the capacitor I need to take off right there. Now you could choose to desolder it, which would mean that I'd have to take the whole motherboard out. Let me not put this in the camera. You could go and desolder it, which means I'd have to take the board out, flip it upside down, and unsolder the pins and all that. Or you can practice, or you can just bend it off. It's not going to matter. <clears throat> now we're going to take some alcohol. It needs to be at least this or higher. Recommended. I'm going to get these little screws in and get that done, and then I'll pick up the video from there. I don't, I don't want to bore you all with this, and it's going to be a little bit tedious, so we'll do that. Well, I'm going to go plug it up and see if she works. Let's go. Well, 
Well, there you go, guys. It boots back up. I'm surprised. Usually things don't go well. So, anyways, very simple to do. It's just a matter of doing it. If you have an Xbox and you care for it and you want it to last uh, a lot longer, then get rid of that little clock capacitor. Guys, hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you learned something. I learned something. I learned that I can take my original Xbox apart and not have a heart attack. Alright, don't forget. Get up, get out, get red, do it to it. Even when doing something that you never thought you'd ever do, like taking your electronics apart and popping off a capacitor. Go give it a shot, guys. What do you got to lose? We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!